taken a couple of catches, but he's got a few rough ones. Starts with a no ball, so that's uh, rather inauspicious. License to really go for it. And he has connected high and handsome. That is huge. That is massive. And that is six. So he's taken full toll. Not what Sri Lanka needed. So Fernando really not uh, doing the right thing by his captain or his team. So Sachin Tendulkar took full toll of this free hit. He hit that beautifully. Kept his head still. He threw the line. Side chasing. That can be close. That can be close. And it is. Goodness me. This is. That delivery was very full. Tendulkar again going too far across well. His stance said it was uh, pretty straight, but gone for seven. So missing leg stump uh, by some margin. And there is concern. Yeah, yeah, he would be rather unhappy. Once again, it... keep talking about the fact that. I get... Oh, and that's a drop chance. And an easy one at that. Play too early. And he leant back as well. So that went straight to Kandambi. At this level, you'd expect him to catch that. He didn't go all that quickly either. And what does he do? He flicks the next one for a blistering boundary. Oh, that's going to hurt. That was a very good shot. And not only was he dropped, he got a single. And now he's played this magnificently to the square leg boundary for four. Oh! That's a no ball, but that could have been close. It is a problem from time to time. Gambir has got it away for four. Fernando only has himself to blame. One of the things you look for is... Oh, has he got him? I think the bat was in the air and Gotham Gambir is gone. Would you believe it? This ball was strongly driven by uh, Sewak. Fernando getting down, just getting a fingertip on it. Gambia doing the right thing, backing up, but too far. And that hit uh, the stump. So uh, it's an important partnership this now for India. That's a good shot. Yuvraj saying it was pitched up and he's gone for it. Wonderful cover drive for four. Square of the wicket on the offside. Well, that's the way this is. Uh, this Indian team is pretty uninhibited. Yeah. Didn't carry, but he did get the edge. Beats the, beats the edge. It sounded like something. Yeah, you do get a sound when the ball passes bat, but I get the feeling that the ball had passed the bat when the sound comes. Oh, well, that's gone through as well. For a moment, I thought it had got through. For a moment, uh, one thought that Dilara Fernando managed to just squeeze it past Yuraj's uh, defences, but he played it so well. It's important for both of them uh, to take uh, India to a good total. India, of course, has the luxury. Oh, and it covered, but uh, just dived over. Sekere has been driven beautifully by Virendra Sebak. It's pure timing. Jayasuri is after it. He won't catch it. So beautifully timed. That was four from the moment it left the bat. This is the way he should be looking to play. Rather than trying to go over the top. And this is very well executed. At the start of the innings. Oh. That is dismissed from his presence. Just a little bit short, and he is just dismissed it from his presence. This is an awesome shot, incredible shot. Oh, that's a nice little bouncer. Now it's called a wide because uh, it went way above. Sevak goes over the top and that will run down to the mid-wicket boundary. When the Sevak's been looking to hike him over uh, mid-wicket for quite some time.
The ball coming into him, he's used the incoming movement and the length very well. And he hits it straight. That's an even better shot. That's gone for four consecutive boundaries for Virendra Seva. Who was standing there. This has gone like a rocket. See, nobody's moved. And this is the, over the top, the third boundary of the over. Virendra Sevag is making it look so easy. Virendra Sevag in this mode can be unstoppable. Excellent comeback, very good comeback by Kulasekara. That was a slower ball, deceived Sevag. Just managed to, that was a slow one, yes. And that uh, really went the other way, that was more like a googly about um, his uh, mystery being solved. And this is over the top. Yuraj Singh connects it and gets a boundary. Mendes pitching it up. And these pitches have been very, very good. They haven't uh, helped the bowlers to turn the ball uh, at all. It's allowed the batsman to play on the up. Much deviation of the pitch, they can play the shot like this without really worrying about, you know, last minute deviation that might deceive them. Once he found that there was not much help, he decided to go for the uh, power play. Not that it's working for him, Raj. Certainly needed any help there, Juraj. Looking so good, isn't it, uh, Sunny? He must be one of the most talented uh, cricketers in world cricket, Juraj. And so that was always uh, going to be a problem. Oh, what a shot. Once again, making it look ridiculously easy. Nice high back lift, nice balance there as he rolls his wrists to make sure that the ball is hit along the ground. Make sure he hits it well past the fielder at point. He's timing the ball extremely well, just leaning into the drive. Yuvraj Singh picks up another boundary, his seventh boundary. Strokes, just leaning into that big step forward. Something I've uh, noticed, Shiva, that um, his front foot is getting much closer to the ball on this tour than uh, what we noticed when he was here in August. That'll be a wide. There it goes. He was just getting there. More runs. My leg inside the ring, straying in line. Not very often he does that. But Yuvraj Singh is in fine form. Waited for the ball, played it close to the pads. Did it wide to that field at uh, short fine leg. Did everything right. 15th over in progress. One more over still remains in party number two. It's in the air. But in no man's land. Yes, the hundred coming up in the 15th over. This is good going for India. Will be another boundary. He's got the fine leg in, and the square leg is on the fence, and he's straying in line. And Yuvraj is too good today. 50 for Yuvraj Singh. He's batted superbly today. 107 for two.